Okay, um, we'll, we'll have one more question. Uh, it's a topical one. The AV referendum, which is coming up in mm. the spring, or the, the voting reform referendum. Um, You're not allowed to call it the no, AV well referendum. That's, that's, fair that's, that's, fair <laughs> yes, about, that's, that's coming. Um, how should uh, Liberal Democrat grassroots activists tackle the fairer votes campaign? I went to a meeting that's uh, on the Fair Votes campaign with, uh, um, with members of a number of parties, and I was struck that, uh, that the, the individual who was, who was there from the Labour Party was uh, a desperately anxious that Liberal Democrats should not campaign on this issue, you know, in, in, in Lib Dem yellow, but put on sort of neutral coloured clothing. And I thought, well, stuff that. But uh, um, there was then the suggestion that we should only talk to people who were either known Liberal Democrats or in areas of real Liberal Democrat strength. And it might be really helpful then if we share with the other parties our targeting strategy. <laughs> and, you know, but so, so I want to be very careful. It is really important that we win the AV vote. And we need to work with other parties in order to do that. But we will be out there, I think, quite openly campaigning as Liberal Democrats, seeking the AV vote because that is an improvement over the absolutely ridiculous voting system that we've got at the moment. We'll be out there making the argument that this is a way you make your MP work harder. Your MP at least has to win 50% of, of the support with the community in order to get elected. That, uh, uh, and that it sort of deals with the kind of safe seat problem where so often the expenses issue reared its head during the last parliament. So there are a lot of good votes. Uh, uh, sorry, there are a lot of good arguments for AV. I'm going to be out there campaigning very hard, but I will be campaigning in the black yellow. I'll be making it clear that we're in coalition with other parties. But I'm not going to be campaigning in campaigns that we have up and down the country, in Scotland and Wales, or in local government, that, uh, um, because of, uh, 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 of the referendum campaign. We have to find a way for those to be successful. I would say winning this referendum next May is just about the most important challenge we have ever faced. And we'll ask, and we get asked, don't we, all the time, what are you getting out of this coalition? And I'll give you a big long list of things that we're achieving that we should be proud of. If we get AV, if we change the electoral system, okay, it's not PR, it's perfect, but by golly, it's better than the medieval joke that we currently exist. You know, if we get that, we change the game forever. We've changed the game forever. The prize is immense. You think of all those people who campaigned from the 40s onwards in those dark and dismal years of losing deposits being the norm for Liberal candidates, to the point where we actually have the chance to change the electoral system in a tremendous way for Westminster. It is so important. We just daren't lose it. More important, dare I say it, than your council seat, than my parliamentary seat. That's how important it is. And we've got to win it, and we'll need to win it by you guys being inspired to get out there and knock on doors with people within, in, your, in our own party and people who are not in political parties at all. It's actually rather important on a national level that it's celebrities that we all love and respect, people, or at least people who are not you know, tainted politicians who lead the campaign, but on the ground, it's you and me together making sure that we win. And within the Liberal Democrats, it would be the job of the President to inspire you to get out and have the right messages. And the right messages are crucial, because if this becomes some kind of techie, boring, kind of nerdy debate about different sorts of electoral systems, people won't vote, and actually they may even vote no. What we have to do is ensure that we characterise this vote next May as being progress, newness, the new politics, cleaner politics, accessible politics, MPs who are actually accountable to you versus the dirty politics of the expenses scandal, of irresponsive, of utterly complacent, arrogant MPs with safe seats. A really clear black and white characterisation between democracy, progress, the new politics that we saw amongst Clegmania in April of this year, which was real, absolutely real against the kind of dark old days of politics that we all, we all reject. It's a wonderful opportunity to use Facebook and all sorts of other new media to engage young people to really change the system for good. You have to believe in it, and the messages we have to get out there have got to be real, understandable, and not dull. Thank you. Well, that's been a really interesting set of questions this evening. Really good, diverse set of answers to, to chew on. Don't forget, once you've considered these, to return your ballot by November the 10th. I'll be covering the count on November the 13th for LibDemVoice.org, and you'll also get the results on the federal website, LibDems.org.uk. Thank you very much for watching. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Keeping us under control. <laughs> <laughs>